Recently, I haven't really played much on my main profile. Most of my time spent on Skyblock has gone into grinding the Megacorp Iron Man. I come to notice on my main profile that I had a lot of unsoulbound net worth that I wasn't really using, and if I ever really wanted to go on my main profile, they're just not things I would even ever use. So today, I'm going to liquidate everything that I don't need, and then spend it on the one thing that I really want. Well, some friends would be, would be nice, actually. Anyway, there's a few things that I were definitely going to keep. One being my Hyperion, the next one being my Terminator, my Overflux, and also my G-Drag with the bank for it as well. Nothing else was safe. Okay, so liquidating everything that I don't really, really need. So at the moment, we have a 870 million coins in our purse, for now. We also have some items to sell. We've got this Storm setup that I don't really use, this Necron setup that I don't really use, um, and all this other stuff, the Sheep Pet, which I'm not really going to use because I've got a G-Drag and, and, and so on. So we're just going to sell everything. All right, it's been a few hours. Um... A few of our items have sold. Uh, we have almost 400 mil to collect. Uh, we're still waiting on our Necron leggings to sell. Um, I didn't actually realise that these had three Master Stars on, which kind of led to me selling the chest plate for probably about 50 mil under what they should be. So yeah, that happened. I guess this is when you come to notice that even I can skill issue at selling an item. Yeah. You know what? It's not the end of the world. It's sold. Whatever. We'll collect our coins. We have about 1.25 billion. Still yet to decide what I'm really going to spend this money on. We reduced the price of the Necron leggings probably too much, but I don't even care. They've sold as well. We now have these other miscellaneous items that probably won't get us too many coins, but are probably still worth selling. Um, I think all those items sold. So I've listed some more random stuff, if I'm being completely honest. Honestly, the, uh, the random clutter that has some sort of sell value just keeps coming and coming. I don't understand where I've got it all from. Like... Who needs, like, you know, just who needs this many pocket espresso machines? I don't know why I've got all of these. Okay, so it's the next day. Hopefully things have sold. Oh, they have indeed. What are we missing? Um, I'm surprised people actually bought Bat the Fish. I guess it's for museum. Anyway, nobody wants chicken pets. That's quite evident, which is fair enough. And I cannot sell these Breeze aurora boots at all regardless of i feel like this is a pretty low price i guess i'll just put them for even lower with just shy of 1.5 billion coins i had quite a few options on the table what should i do with these coins well to be honest i did have a genius plan but before we get to that if you are planning on purchasing anything from the hypixel store make sure to use code nitros it gets yourself five percent off also you should subscribe to the channel we're aiming for 100k subscribers before the end of next year it's going to be difficult but we need your help if you're not subscribed make sure you do so Finally, you should join the Discord server. It's linked in the description of this video. We offer slayers and dungeon carries, so if you need carries or want to carry and make some coins, make sure to join. Oh yeah, the master plan. It's quite clear that nobody's going to sell me Enrager for 1.4 billion coins, so I tried to gain some investors. Well, initially, it seemed to be going well as I approached a potential investor telling them that I have a proposition. It's going to sound stupid, but it would be cool. They were all ears. I proposed that we go halves on an Enrager. I got laughed at. I asked if... You know, if you've ever wondered what it's like to spend 3 or 4 billion coins on a mid-weapon. And I was told it's only museum value. So that's how it went. Rest assured, I wasn't going to give up that easily. The value of it hasn't okay. gone up. Because okay, okay. The only thing, no, 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 no. The only thing that can make it more... Like, think listen, about it. Think about it. Think about it. If we, if we think about it more of like a, in like a triangular form, then... We could be at the top of the we could be at the top of the triangle, right at the tip. I think it'd be like the, the Great Pyramids in Egypt. We could be standing on top. And then beneath us could just be people who work for us, who will get more people and more people, and eventually we'll have enough money to buy an enrager without investing too much. Um and then it's just like, you know, uh, I mean, who wouldn't want an enrager? Do, do, do you get where I'm coming from? Everyone no one wants an enrager. Come on, come on, come on. Things weren't going entirely to plan. Oh, yeah, no, no, it was... yeah. So you said that you and Juju will be at the top of the pyramid, but if I'm investing the same as Juju, am I beneath you? Because... No, no, no. You can be at the top of the pyramid too. That's, that's the beauty of this. That's the beauty Juju, of this. Juju, I wouldn't say it's a scheme. I'd say this is the beauty of this organization that we're gonna that we're gonna build. Do, it's do... a pyramid, but everyone's at the top, you know. Well, that's what that's what that's what we thing. that's what we tell everyone. That's what we, that's what we tell everyone. <laughs> We don't... Wait, Gigi, can you can you in staff announcement say that Nitro turned into Undertale? No, 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 no. Why you do? Don't throw shade on 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 Top G. The the Hostage University isn't a pyramid scheme. 
It's a multi-tiered <laughs> marketing um, promotion. That's all. There's another five minutes of me consistently getting shot down. Um, the end result is we're not getting the Enrager. Huh. I guess it's time to see what 1.5 billion can do to a pretty dysfunctional Aurora set. Yes. Some of it's not even fully fuming potatoed. And what hilarious person thought that they would, you know, put one perfect, but one flawless. Very silly. Now, my debate is, do I actually go down the path of upgrading the armor? I mean, sure, I probably want to make it all infernal just for the, you know, oh, it's nice to look at. But it's all 7-7, seven, seven, mana pool, mana regen 7. So would it be would it be more worth my time for me to upgrade the attributes? Or potentially even upgrade the attributes on my equipment because they're only 5-5. Five, five. All right, so I do have a plan. Um, my plan is to at least make all the pieces infernal. What I'm also going to do is fix the eyesores um, because I didn't fully complete the fuming potato book so I thought it would annoy people. Um, yep, very, very clever. So that looks a bit mid, but that looks much better. Much cleaner. Absolutely lovely. Oh my god, we almost spent 100 mil on that. Oh my, yikes. Anyway, as we're saying, these two pieces are still fiery, so we're definitely going to get it all to infernal. Yeah, man. Y you believe that. All right, sure. Sure. Oh, this is not going to be a cheap one. Oh. There we go. But it's lovely. It, it is nice to see. And I guess the same goes here. Yeah, it's not going to be a cheap one. But... Wait, what? Do I not have enough Kudra teeth? Oh, I, I really thought I would... I, re I really... Re oh, God. This is just... I did think 50 Infernal runs would be enough, but obviously, math says that that's not true. I think I actually marginally hate this setup even more now, just purely because it's not even all... Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, last time I accidentally made the chest plate Infernal, and this time, when I actually try to make the whole set Infernal, I just can't, you know? Anyway, let's see. If we, for instance, wanted to put five stars on this um, Infernal set... Or at least the infernal pieces. Oh my god, how much is that? It's about 300 mil a piece just to put five stars on. Because I didn't... Well, I did have essence, but I sold it all. But before I spend the quickest and most painful 600 million coins of my life, I want to see actually how much intelligence we currently have. All right, we've got 5.936k intelligence, so just shy of 6k. And our effective health is just shy of 43k. So I want to see what that goes to once we um, put 5 stars of Infernal on two of these pieces. Okay, you just, just watch my coins just deplete on the right of the screen. That's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, that's 5. Oh my god. There we go. See ya. I need to be I even want the 300 mil. Just take it. I don't even, I don't even want it. I just don't want it. Anyway, that actually looks so mid. The fact that... God, the ultimate enchant is pink. The text is pink, as obviously the item is recombobulated. The stars, it looks like it's dungeonized. I can't, I can't, I can't spend any more on this. But what I can spend the same on would definitely be the leggings, you know. Oh, yeesh. Yikes, 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 yikes. Super just, yikes. This is bad, 600 mil down the drain, and I don't think it's, it looks dungeonized, man. Yeah, I know the boots are still fiery. Okay, this is the most cursed Aurora set I've ever seen. But let's just see. We don't even have 6k mana. We're still on 5999 mana. We've gained 60 mana from... Oh, God. That's really bad. So we're on 45.3k effective health. I don't even know how much health I said I had. So we've gained around about 2.5k effective health and about 60 mana. For 600 million coins... This was a worth investment. However, what really actually will be more worth if, if I uh, basically just start to upgrade the attributes on here. Don't know how much we can do. Now, we could try to get to 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, so what I've done is created some Mana Pool 7, um, Leggings, Chestplate and Boots, and Mana Regen 7, my, um, Leggings, Chestplate and Boots, and I'm going to put them onto the set. Now, we've spent probably the best part of like 250 mil, and I feel like this is going to wield way way better results than upgrading this through infernal if i'm being completely honest especially for the price considering it's gonna overall increase our mana regen by what three percent because it's one percent per piece and then it's also going to increase our intelligence by at least 60 which is already well basically the same as what we got for spending 600 mil okay so there it is the chest plate is eight eight the leggings are eight eight and um 
the boots are too. So let's equip all of this and see what the difference is. Let's see how much more mana we have now. Oh yes, lovely. 6,059 mana. What we're talking about. As calculated, an extra 60 intelligence for 250 mil. Now I wonder how much of this we could get to 9-9. We have 500 mil left. It's going to be difficult. I think I'm going to have to buy the whole market. But I have a different plan. So currently we um, we only have sighted. Um, now I'm aware that Bazaar is better. Although I've never really been in the position to buy the power stones. Um, to a point where I've had that many coins spur. We have 500 mil. I don't know how much it now costs to get a Bazaar. But I know it always used to be around about 200 mil. I've got a feeling it's probably more expensive now. But hopefully I've got enough with 500. Okay, no that's not too bad. That's not, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um... We need nine of these, so if, I'm, I'm not going to bother with, with offers, but I'm just going to insta-buy nine. That's going to cost us, oh, only 354 mil. Let's see how much of a difference this makes. I've been putting doing this off for so, so long, and I don't know if I'm happy to be doing it or not, but it's kind of too late to go back on now. So we've done it. All right, that was way more worth it. We now have over 6.3k mana, so I guess the moral of the story is... Don't upgrade your armor set to Infernal, and don't upgrade it past it. No, I'm kidding. Well, let's see, um, with Bizarre it gives us plus, well, 1,591 mana, plus 5 ability damage. We lose crit damage and strength, but that's irrelevant. With Sighted, we get 1,326 intelligence with 3 ability damage, so we're gaining 2 ability damage, and what's that? About, well, actually about 250 mana, give or take. At the start of the game, that kind of seems like a little bit pointless, but actually when you get to this stage, it's relatively difficult to gain mana, so that is pretty good. I'm not going to lie as well, um, I actually deal substantially more damage than I was previously doing. Almost 3.3 million on one hit, I've never seen a, dam a damage figure that high with a high period, if I'm being completely honest, other than in dungeons. So that's kind of nice to see, but we still have 154 mil. Well, that 154 mil is not going to give us enough money to be able to um, really do anything. I don't think. I really don't think we, we can do anything. Like, literally. Honestly, that was a relatively quick way to kind of void like 1.2 billion coins. Yeah. Not sure how I feel about that. Especially spending all the things that we've spent it on. We're, we're never going to get anything back for it. It's not like we can go ahead and sell our armor or sell our power stone. It's fine though. I'm not going to lose any sleep. Let me know, do you think it's a worth investment? Investing in an Aurora setup to a point where it just costs too much to even think about to upgrade it any further? Did it annoy you? The fact that I couldn't quite upgrade everything to Infernal. It's almost as if it was planned out. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.